Hey guys, thought I'd show you how to use Brew and uh, Sublime Text 3, actually an easier way to install it. So here, here I am in the videos uh, directory, with some you know simple fake files. So Brew just installs things, which might sound very boring, but actually it is not. Okay, I'm gonna update it and make sure it's up to date. So Brew makes sure when you download programs that they are all installed a certain way that doesn't conflict with each other. So it's actually really handy. It also has a tool that's updating. It also has a tool called Brew Doctor, and it'll show you conflicts. Now this here is actually not a conflict. I know that because I've looked this up, and I don't have any things that are fighting. See, there's no, nothing wrong. My thing's ready to go, no problems. But if you have an error, always just run Brew Doctor, assuming you've installed it with Brew, and it's like a built-in you know, friend basically telling you what's wrong. So I'm up to date. I don't have anything, but you see so update whenever you have an error, you do everything, you brew install with this. So here, if you want to do brew search, uh, I'll do image magic, let's see. Okay, so I'll show you what it has. Image magic, some different things you can install with it. So if we go online, oh, here we go. So you just go homebrew, where is it? There it is. So you just install it here like this, pretty simple. And actually there's a cool thing called cask, homebrew cask. It's like, it's not technically homebrew, but it's like an extension basically. And this right here is the command. And this is pretty cool because it's now even easier to install Sublime Text 3. I found this on Stack Overflow. Let me show you uh, how to, oh, here it is, boom. I'm gonna, this is awesome, okay? Uh, right here. I've used this and had several other people help them install. This installs Sublime Text 3 with Brew, which never before you're able to do. So there's less conflicts. Actually, I'm going to upvote that. That was an awesome help. Um, so that's how you use Brew to install Sublime Text 3. And here, I'm going to make one file real quick um, to show you some of the power of Sublime. Let's call this um, Josh. Example.rb, open with Sublime. There we go. Okay, so if I want to just put do uh, put hello. Oops. Okay, now watch. If I have it way out here, you see that? When I saved it, it automatically puts it back and formats it. That's a plugin. And I'll show you real quick and then I'll be done. Here's the package installer. Hit uh, Command Shift P. And uh, that's, that's just a plugin I have. This thing's awesome, trimmer. So here's package, uh, let's see, oh, sorry, install, package control, install package. And what this does is it goes out and it'll show you all the repositories of packages you can install. But be careful because some of these can kind of conflict with each other. But I have, um, in my book, I have like 30 that I use all the time. But one of them is this Ruby, I don't think it's in here because I already, yeah, I already have it installed. It won't show up. But actually, I can show, I think I can show you already installed packages. List. Yeah, so this will show you what I have. Oh, here you go. Alignment. Um, Autocomplete is pretty cool. Let me find the one that has, uh, the one that has Ruby. It, it, it thinks it's called like Ruby Beautify, and it makes your, your code look awesome. Oh, it's in here. Anyway, it, it formats anything like this. So when you save it, boom, automatically fixed. You don't have to worry about indentation anymore. Actually, I want to show you one other cool thing and then I will be done. Josh, oh, save. Josh.html. There you go. So here, this is Emmet, okay? E M M E T. Watch this. So instead of normally making a document like this, you put stuff at the top, you just put exclamation point. And now I'm going to hit tab. Watch. Whole document done. Ready to go. Oh, let's see if I can spell. So you need to get Sublime. It's awesome. This is a cool, uh, cool theme as well, I think. But use Brew. It'll save your life down the road. Use Sublime. It's awesome. Saves you a lot of coding time.